loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hollyanna and today we're exploring the Tom Allen Memorial Butterfly House here in Cape Coral, Florida. Let's do it. Today we went to Rotary Park in Cape Coral, Florida and we went on their free butterfly house tour. If you're in the Cape Coral area, they do tours of the butterfly house Monday, Friday, and Saturday at 10.30 a.m. All of the butterflies here in the butterfly house are native butterflies to Florida. So once they emerge from their chrysalises, they can remain in the butterfly house or they can be released into Rotary Park. And I did look that up. The plural of chrysalis is chrysalises. I always thought it was chrysali, but learn something new every day. Every plant here in the butterfly house is specifically chosen to create the perfect ecosystem for these butterflies. And the tour guide at the butterfly house can give you advice on what plants to buy for your own home if you would like to make your very own butterfly garden. I learned a lot during the tour, but the thing I found the most shocking was that a monarch butterfly will lay about 300 eggs, but only about three of them will make it to adulthood. The butterfly house provides a safer environment for the eggs to hatch, the caterpillars to live, the chrysalises to survive, and the butterflies to emerge. The tour guide told us that one thing the butterfly house can't really protect butterflies against is ants, because ants apparently eat butterfly eggs, which is another thing that I didn't know before today. While we were on the tour, we saw a snake, and I was shocked that the tour guide said they actually like having the little snake in the butterfly house. Snakes apparently eat lizards, and lizards apparently eat the butterfly eggs. So, in a roundabout way, the snake also helps create a safer environment for the butterflies. After we left the butterfly house, we were told that Captain Redfoot, the resident 20-year-old red-footed tortoise, was on his weekly walk around the park, so we had to go say hello. He was a joy to watch. Thank you so much to everybody at Rotary Park for making our Earth Day magical.